Well, most of us have been in the situation where we build our resume for a job we really want and we just hope it sticks out amongst the competition. Well, today, author John Singer is going to teach us exactly how to do that by learning your resume DNA. And John, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> well, the resume DNA, your DNA uh, separates you from all others. It's your professional fingerprint on your resume. So what we're going through in the book is how to brand yourself professionally, tell us how you do what you do, show your core competencies, but the DNA really is involved with uh, creating stories about yourself, functional information, uh, situation, action, resolve, what was the situation or what opportunity, what were my actions, what were my measurable results. So we're able to present your accomplishments on the first page of the resume which totally separates you from others. So then, John, who's really going to be able to benefit from your book? We have an outplacement company, but we, we, we work individually with companies. But I believe anybody looking for a position, professionals, um, young people, I work with people at the university uh, looking for their first job. They have their degrees, but they don't have a clue as to how to go out and secure their first job. Uh, people moving up in their organizations, they need to set themselves apart from the masses that they find on the Internet when they're applying online. And you know, the, all the times that I've applied for a job, so at some point in there, I've had to apply online. And I kind of feel like it's very cookie cutter and I don't know how to take that online application and really make myself stand out. Is there something different we should be doing if we're applying online? Absolutely. First, you probably understand the internet is like a black hole. There are hundreds and hundreds of other applicants on yeah. there. Um, so you need to uh, customize each resume and cover letter that you're using with an online application uh, for the opportunity. You can't just keep submitting the same resume. Uh, you have to understand that before a human looks at the resume, it's going through an applicant tracking system. It's software looking for keywords and phrases uh, that they are looking for. You can usually find these in the posting uh, online. So if you're including those, that's going to help you out a lot. So you really need to have your resume be a fluid document to where you're customizing it for the opportunity. We also recommend that you write what we call a CCL, a conversational cover letter. And don't address it to your hiring manager to, or to whom it may concern. Do your research, find a decision maker, open up and in a narrative voice tell why you were good for that job. You can continue to use those keywords and phrases. They'll be scanning that as well. Your chances will increase into getting into an interview. Well, I love that you dive into such specifics for our resumes, our cover letters, but then I know people who really suffer when it comes to the actual interview portion. Are you going to discuss right. that at all in your book? Oh, absolutely. Most of the book is about that. Um, the only purpose of a good resume is to entice a uh, job interview, to get you in for the interview. You have to be prepared. Interviews are performances. Performances must be practiced. You have to be the best that you can be. You have to remember your three E's when you go into an interview. Energy, enthusiasm, and energy. <laughs> so you have to be the best that you can be. Not something that you're not, but be prepared to show through your stories of accomplishment how you have had measurable results in the things that you've done in your past. Uh, we teach people to avoid the red flag dangerous questions. What's your greatest weakness? What, how do you perform under stress? Uh, why did you leave your last job? Because these are set up, these are designed for you to answer in a negative way. So we teach the uh, reader how to answer them in a positive way. And that's hard, like you said, it's very hard to kind of spin that kind of negative question into something that sounds good for you. And you actually talk a little bit about uh, like doing like a commercial almost, like a 60 second, hey, I'm awesome. Uh, <laughs> tell me more about that. The uh, commercial, the elevator speech, as yeah. we've heard it, you're in the elevator with Ms. Decision Maker yeah. and you have to the lobby to impress her or pique her interest to interview you or give you the job. Most people are not used to talking about themselves and uh, they don't go around talking about themselves. If they did, they wouldn't have many friends and they probably wouldn't have a job. <laughs> but uh, you have to learn, this is the only venue I know where you have to talk about yourself and promote yourself in the best way. We call that commercial a T-M-A-Y. It's the first question in any interview. Tell me about yourself, Heather. Mm -hmm. Well, I like long walks on the beach, pretty sunsets, and golden retrievers. Well, that's not going to do it for you. You have to brand yourself professionally, show what you can bring to that company, and end it, wrap it up with a power close in less than 60 seconds. This way, you're controlling the interview from the first minute, and you can refer back to some things you said earlier in your opening statement. And that's really going to help with nerves as well. So I think that's great. Now, John, I know our time's quickly running out, but I want to talk to you about your company real quick and the services that you guys provide. Our company is Professional Development Strategies. We're an outplacement company. We work nationally. Um, 
companies that we work with are, and organizations and universities are downsizing their workforce. They're laying people off. So they're providing our program for their employees. We help them with a customized resume, with certified professional resume writers. We teach them interview technique. We teach them networking methodology, which is very important to go over and beyond the internet. Uh, we've worked here locally with Muscular Dystrophy Association, and we're an outplacement provider for the University of Arizona. Great. That's amazing. I think you guys are helping that, which is a reality for a lot of places. Like you said, there's downsizing. People are looking for jobs and there's a lot of people in that job market. So making yourself stand out, uh, making sure that first impression is uh, one that you want it to have is something that we need help with. You guys are right there to help. And this book is there. That's why I wrote the book, because we help a lot of people through our business, but there are many others out there looking for their next position, and sure. this book will help them get there. It's going to help a lot of people. A great gift for graduates as well. Yeah. So, John, Definitely. thank you so much for coming on and talking thank about you. your book and thank letting you for us having know more. Me. And you can get John Singer's book on Amazon.com by searching for Resume DNA.